Okay, so I had this really long video about my favorite Marvel superhero that went way too fucking long. <laughs> so I'm gonna condense it. Basically, back in Amazing Fantasy Volume 2, they created this wonderful character named Anya Corazon, who was a Latina, half Puerto Rican, half Mexican, I believe, or possibly all Puerto Rican. It's kind of hard to tell. And she was 15, and she was sassy and spunky, and she lived in Brooklyn, and she threatened to beat up linebackers who were literally like four times her size, and she was possibly bi. It's kind of hard to tell, but I swear to God there was some undertones of queerness, and she was wonderful, and she ended up being best friends and partnering up with one of my other favorite superheroes, Nomad, Ricky Barnes, and she was awesome, and you know, she was in Amazing Fantasy for a while, and she was had her own title, Aranya Heart of the Spider, for a while, and then she was in a couple of other things, and she was in the Nomad shorts at the back of Captain America, and she was in Young Allies, and she was awesome, and I loved everything about her. And then they came out with The Amazing Spider Girl, because she had started going by Spider Girl at that point, and it was written by a guy called Paul Tobin, and it took her existing relationship with Ricky Barnes being her best friend and superhero partner and pretty much fucked that up by having Ricky hardly in the title at all while focusing on this brand new girl named Rocky, who we never heard of before, who incidentally on her own is awesome, I will admit, but she, the, the role that she fulfills and the way that Ricky is not even there like she has the possibility to be there because she's in the background sometimes but she's not really there and it pisses me off and then also they remove Carol Danvers Ms. Marvel as her sort of surrogate mother figure they had been very close in the past and she's barely in it at all you know she's kind of replaced by Sue Storm for some reason and it really pissed me off and they the character design for her was really off because they you know she'd always been the the cut off shirts and ratty jeans and and wallet chains and big hoop earrings and you know messy ponytails kind of girl and then suddenly she was wearing slacks and blouses and cardigans around her shoulders and it was really really weird and uh but it was it was it was okay i guess and then Onslaught Unleashed happened, which was a comic in which Ricky Barnes died, had to be killed, right in front of Anya, and Anya was horribly torn up about it, and Spider-Girl didn't touch on it at all. She just, Ricky just disappeared. They never mention what happens to her. She just is gone. She's briefly blonde, and then gone. It's really frustrating. Okay, so it was bad, but it wasn't horrible, horrible, and I could reread it if I needed to. But then I finally got my hands on the last couple of issues that Paul Tobin did for Spider-Girl, which was in the Spider Island event. And basically, among other factual errors, like what her powers consisted of in the first place and where her magical power-giving tattoo was, it was initially on her, I think her right arm. It was on one of her upper arms, and in that comic, it was miraculously on her back for some reason. And then they had her approach Carol. Carol, who she had once actually called her mother at one point. They were that close. And Carol, act, she acts like she hasn't talked to Carol in maybe even over a year. And Carol, like, she comes to Carol asking for help. Like, she really needs help. And Carol completely brushes her off. Basically gives her, like, two sentences saying, buzz off. Rage. Okay. I screamed and cursed and was just a mess. Like, I, I screamed and cursed for, like, five minutes when I finally read that. And I made my... I lost my voice almost. And it was awful. So, uh... Yeah. That was not fun. Basically... Read Spider-Girl. She's awesome. She's a Latina. She's sassy. She's smart. Her dad was an investigative reporter. And she's just, she's amazing. She's amazing. And you really should read everything she's in, except for Spider-Girl. So, if you're looking for things that she's in, what I can tell you is, she is in Amazing Fantasy Volume 2. She is in Aranya, Heart of the Spider. She is in 
one crossover with Spider-Man that's actually really bad that's called Spider-Man and Aranya or something like that. It's kind of iffy, but it's got some important plot, plotty type things that happen in her life if you want to follow that. She's in Ms. Marvel during Civil War and just after Civil War. And she is in the Grim Hunt event a little bit, but she doesn't have like her own title. She's just in it here and there. She's in the Nomad Girl Without a World short comics at the back of Captain America comics. She was in the Young Allies. I don't remember what volume it was, but it was the new one, not the old original one. And then she was in Onslaught Unleashed. And I think that's all that she was in that isn't Spider-Girl. I highly recommend you go look her up. She's wonderful. And with that, I'm home and... Just, just stay away from Paul Tobin. Stay away from Paul fucking Tobin. He's awful. He's awful. I just, I cannot get over how awful he is. Don't read it. He just butchered it. Just Anyway, guys, don't forget to be awesome. And I will see you when I see you, Marvel nerds. You are my favorite people in the world.